So lessons from today. First, define your null hypothesis. Next, define your alternative hypothesis. Plot your data before running a statistical test. Before you run a statistical test, make sure the assumptions about the distribution of any continuous variables are taken into account. If you've got normally distributed variables, make sure that you know uh, you run a t-test, a one-sample ANOVA test, or a Pearson correlation. If your data is normally distributed, you can run a Wilcoxon test, a kruska wallace test, uh, or a Spearman correlation. But if your data is not normally distributed, you can only run those tests that don't assume a normal distribution. Determine whether your situation is a one sample test or a two plus sample test. Uh, you don't need to decide whether your question is one sided or two sided. Always use a two sided test, which is different than the one sample or two sample tests. So select your test and interpret the output. And in particular, what I will want you to do on the midterm project is to interpret your p value. Do not just state my finding is significant. Actually try to interpret the p value number that you get as a percentage and explain what that percentage means. If you did multiple tests, make sure to caveat the results of any statistical test or visualization with this knowledge. Because if you look for enough relationships, you'll find visualizations that look apparently statistically significant by chance alone, even when the underlying numbers were randomly generated. And in terms of which tests you need to know, just, just to refresh, if you've got a one sample situation where you only have one variable and you're comparing it against a fixed value, if that variable is categorical, use a chi-square test. If that variable is continuous, use a one sample t-test if your data is normally distributed and use a Wilcoxon test if your data is not normally distributed. If you have two or more samples, if one of your variables is categorical and the other is also categorical, it's a, again a chi-square test. If one variable is categorical and the other is continuous, if your categorical variable has two categories, you'll use either a two sample t-test or a Wilcoxon test. And if you've got more than two categories, you'll use a one-way ANOVA test or a kruskal wallace test. And if you've got two continuous variables, then if they're normally distributed, you can use a Pearson test. If they're not normally distributed, you can use a Spearman correlation test, which is the same function in R to do it. It's the core.test function, but the method argument will change uh, depending on whether you're going to do a Pearson test or a Spearman test. So you might be thinking, we've covered a lot of different tests today. How do I relate back the tests that we've learned today back to the visualizations we learned last week? So if you have a single quantitative variable, last week we learned that we would use a histogram or a density plot to plot that variable. If you are comparing that distribution against a known quantity, we can visualize that as a vertical line on a histogram then the test that we should be looking for is a one sample t-test or a Wilcoxon test. If we've got a situation where we're comparing two box plots, um, and so the two box plots are each representing a different category in a categorical variable, then this is basically a two sample situation comparing two quantitative variables one for group one, one for group two. And so this is a two sample t-test or a Wilcoxon test. If you've got three box plots, this is a one-way ANOVA test or a kruskal wallace test. And if you've got a bar plot um, where you're comparing proportions against a um, either a known quantity like 4% or a known proportion, then this is a chi-square test where you can ask, are all categories equal in proportion or, or you know, is the ratio between one category and another category 4%? And if you've got a stacked bar plot, where you're actually comparing two categorical variables, then this is also a chi-square test. For example, are the proportions of 
uh, race the same for each combination of race and region. So just how you, same way we plotted that with a stacked bar plot, we would answer that with a chi-square test. That concludes our talk on hypothesis testing. Feel free to go, go back and go through these slides one more time. The material you're accountable for is really just knowing which is the right test for which situation. And I'm hoping that between this slide and some of the previous slides, you'll always be able to answer that question fairly straightforwardly. Based on what your visualization looks like, you'll know which is the test that you would use to try to answer that same question statistically.